my name is Brooke. Today I'm going to be telling you about my experience with purchasing a car from Vroom. I purchased my 2017 Mini Cooper from Vroom about a month ago and I just want to tell you about my experience with them. Kind of give you like a timeline that you should expect if you're interested in buying a car from them. So how I found Vroom was I was just looking at cars online. Um, I knew that I was ready to purchase one and this is actually my first time buying a car. So I was kind of just getting an idea of things, uh, just looking at prices online, stuff like that. And I came across Vroom and it was the same car that I wanted. So I called them and they actually let me know that that car had a sale pending on it already but they immediately found one just like it. Actually, it was better for me. I put down the deposit to hold the car because if you do not hold the deposit, then someone else can come in and purchase the car before you. And I just knew immediately that this was the car that I wanted. So I just kind of got the ball rolling, uh, started the process with them um, with the deposit first. So that was just like, that was probably like the end of July. I was still deciding if it was the right time to purchase a car or not for me because it is a huge decision. Um, I didn't want to do it like spontaneously. So I took a few days to like look at reviews online and stuff like that about Vroom and kind of see like their reputation in the dealership realm and not going to lie, I saw a ton of mixed reviews online about Vroom. And that made me kind of nervous, but in the end, I really thought the concept of purchasing a car all online was really cool. I had Simon as a salesperson. He was the one that answered the call the first time I called ever. And he helped me through everything along the way. He just had all the answers on my questions. He was super awesome. Shout out Simon. And yeah, so I eventually decided that I'm ready to sign the documents August 3rd. So I sent over the documents via DocuSign all online. And then August 4th, I wire transferred the money to Vroom from my bank directly. And then someone called me that day that I wire transferred, letting me know that my payment went through and everything was set. And I was to expect an email from them in a few days letting me know about a delivery date. On August 7th, I received an email from Vroom letting me know that my car is on its way from California to Florida. Wow, like only five days to get my car here from California? Like that's pretty fucking awesome. So after August 7th when I received the email, I just waited. Um, I was so anxious about getting my car, um, it was something really I anticipated, so when I received my temporary plate and registration on August 10th, it all seemed very real, it was really exciting. I remember on the 11th of August, the delivery company called me and they just wanted to check with me about my street that I lived on, um, if like a big truck could fit on it, if there was like a lot of trees. On August 12th, I called the delivery company around the time that they said it would be delivered and he let me know that the delivery driver was only like two streets away. So I just walked over there and I saw my car for the first time and I was so excited. Car did come on an 18 wheeler with a bunch of other cars from Vroom. Um, I saw some reviews saying that like their car that people's cars were delivered on like a box truck and it just seemed kind of sketchy. So I was really relieved that it came on an 18 wheeler and it made it here safely from California. Um, it did not have any damage that was not disclosed to me before I went through with purchasing the vehicle. So that was really awesome. And yeah, I was just ready to drive. Uh, I just had to sign something on the delivery driver's phone real quick and then I was off with the car, he handed me the key. They actually do only give you one key to your car though. I saw a lot of reviews about people that didn't receive their permanent license plate on time and they basically had to keep getting temporary license plates and registrations, but luckily mine came on September 3rd. So literally 
less than a month from whenever my car was delivered. So, I was just so relieved that everything ended up perfect and everything went really smoothly. And all in all, it was a really good experience. The cool thing about Vroom is that once your car gets delivered, you have seven days to return the car to them if you don't end up liking it or wanting the car and they'll completely refund you your money but they will just keep the delivery fee which is like $6.99 but I mean you still have a chance to return it if something happens to it like if there's any damage that they didn't disclose and you don't really want to deal with that you can return it they'll come pick up the car you don't have to worry about driving it all the way back to a dealership they have a warranty where if anything's not working, if any lights are on, um, they'll pay for it, and you won't have to you won't have to pay out of pocket for any repairs that you need to make on your car. But they do inspect it before they give it to you, so there should be nothing wrong with it unless um, it was disclosed to you. So yeah, um, that is my experience purchasing a car from Vroom. I love my 2017 Mini Cooper, so thank you, Broom, and I wish you luck on purchasing your car. I hope this answered any questions you had about Broom or any concerns that you had about them, and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.